Hey everyone, Dave K here today with some special quarantine facts about me. I want to tell you exactly what I'm doing during quarantine, what is changing in my life, what I've got going on, and just give you some more information about me so you can be more informed as to my life. And a side note here, you can see I heard some comments about the green screen and people had mixed feelings on it. I like using it and I'll probably use it a lot, but wanted to give you a little bit of that generic white background here, put some minion stickers on the wall so we can enjoy some of those together, and we'll see what you think of it. So quarantine fact about me, number one. I know some people are able to work a lot during this time. Some people are working their regular capacity or overtime and some people are not working at all. For me, quarantine has made my work even busier and even more challenging than it's been. Where I've had to manage so many different functions and make sure that everything is continuing to progress in the way that it needs to. So it's causing me to utilize this many more hours towards work. And that's therefore driving me to have to make more content and focus my content development like this video, other videos, and other content that I'm working on on the weekends. So I'm having work calls sometimes take me as late as 8 p.m. So I'm making a bunch of content on the weekends as possible. Sometimes work evenings if needed, but mostly focusing on those weekends. And what that looks like right now at time of filming is trying to post a YouTube video every day on my main channel. It's been nothing on that gaming channel, I'm sad to admit. I'll have to catch back up on that eventually. I've been posting three TikToks on my TikTok channel every day. Been managing to keep up with that for now. Those are pretty quick videos to make. They're pretty short ones. TikTok, if you're not familiar. It's the Dave K on TikTok. It can be fun, make fun, silly videos over there, but we'll see if that's sustainable as well. I'm hoping I can keep doing one on YouTube and three on TikTok a day. In addition to that, I'm putting out one blog post, article, or other information on my website per week right now. So the schedule is on Wednesdays, you can see some sort of blog post, article, or other information on my website, davekmedia.com. You can find me over there. On Wednesdays, I try to post that video or that article around the same time that I post my daily video right here. So that's what my content creation routine looks like. So I try to make at least one blog post, four or even more YouTube videos a weekend, and as many as something like 20 TikToks in one weekend. So it really keeps me busy with content creation from that front. But sometimes, again, I need to use weekdays because that's a lot of content to make in a very short period of time. So that ties into my next fact about me. Many friends have asked, are you still gaming? Have you still been playing Fortnite or Team Fight Tactics or any other games? I have been getting some game time in, whether it's weekdays or between videos that I'm making on the weekends. I try to relax and de-stress a little bit with some video games. And some of the top ones I'm playing right now have been Team Fight Tactics and some League of Legends. I've been playing some Fortnite and Legends of Runeterra just came out on mobile, so that's awesome. I love that card game action on my mobile phone. But again, it hasn't been as much gaming as I've had the opportunity to do in the past just because I'm trying to manage so many things between working and content creation right now. In terms of my energy, in terms of my morale, I am feeling positive and I'm feeling grateful every day to be here. But at the same time, I am starting to feel it a little bit being inside all day, every day. I've been inside all day, every day for, I wanna say even over a month at this point. It's been more or less since we heard that everything was going on. I stopped going to the parks and Disney the day that they announced that it was going to close later that week. I didn't go back to Disney at all, even though it was still open for a few more days and haven't really been out at all since that point. So it's been quite a bit of time and I am starting to feel it. That being said, I'm managing that feeling in a couple of different ways. One, I find exercise to be very beneficial and very useful. I do my push-ups every day. I try to get my ab exercise in, sit-ups and other ab exercises, squats as I can. And another big thing that I'm noticing is if you can open up your window, open up your blinds. I'm not saying actually open the glass. Everyone has their own choice and you can do whatever you want. Go outside, open the glass, do whatever you want to do. But for me, I'm opening the blinds so that the natural light comes in. I'm not opening the window so air comes in, but I'm opening the blinds so the natural light comes in so that I can kind of be reminded that the sun is there and it's bright and shiny outside to bring that positive smile to my mood. On a positive note, I have made my Punga Racers wait. Punga Racers, in case you're not aware, is a water attraction at Volcano Bay, which very few get the chance to ride because they created a limitation that says anyone who weighs over 150 pounds 
can't go on Punga Racers. And so I finally attained that weight here in quarantine where I can ride Punga Racers. I'm about a pound under at this point, so around 149 so that I can ride Punga Racers. I've got my fingers crossed that I can keep that weight low, keep it down, and ride Punga Racers as soon as it opens back up, and I need to continue to work on those goals, get that exercise in, eat healthy, not eat too much late at night so that I can keep that weight down so I can ride Punga Racers, and then tell you what that ride was like, if it was worthwhile, how much I enjoyed it, and give you some insights as to that limited attraction for very few at Volcano Bay over at Universal Studios. Another thing I've been feeling sitting in the chair working all day and making videos all weekend is my back and my posture. I think it's very important for me to get that in check. You know, I feel like I need to stretch my neck or my back quite a bit. So things I'm trying to remind myself are to sit up straight, not to hunch over, not to bend my neck down or too far forward. I wanna make sure that I'm keeping that good posture, keeping my back apart as well, keep my hands at a distance here so that I can make sure that I'm staying stretched and staying in good form and not injuring myself and my posture in the longer term. Another thing that I do to try to make sure that I keep my posture in good form ties into that exercise piece, regular stretching, making sure that I'm regularly stretching, whether it's my legs, my arms, my back when I wake up in the morning. If you have stairs, maybe do some stairs or do walking in place or squats. There's a variety of different exercises that are great for kind of stretching out at the same time. So you can see there is some health tying into this facts about me. Quarantine facts about me does have a lot of health facts in there too. Just giving you some idea of kind of what's happening to my health over this time. But I do feel like my weight has been pretty well maintained, pretty well managed. My health and exercise has been good from home. I've always done a lot of my exercise right here at home, which is fortunate for me. I'm not missing out on that gym too much right now. Another update in terms of food and some deliciousness. I have not ordered any food in during this time either. I have ordered all of my groceries on Instacart, so I haven't gone out to the grocery store, but I've ordered everything in on Instacart. I've even become an Instacart Prime member, I think they call it, or that level of Instacart membership where it kind of cuts off some of those fees. For example, not paying for that delivery fee because I pay that monthly subscription to Instacart. I figured it would be worthwhile for me since I'm ordering more than twice a month that it winds up adding up to be more than the cost of Instacart as a service for that delivery fee. But everyone has their own kind of choice on that one. But facts about me, I got that Instacart service for now and it's been working out pretty well. So back to the having not ordered any food in, unfortunately, haven't had the chance to order some of my favorites in like Payway or Chewies or any of the delicious Disney food. Like I'd really love to order in a Dragon Roll Bowl, but there's a variety of reasons for that. One is a lot of these places can be closed at the time of filming. Not much is open in terms of those restaurants. I think Payway is still closed. A lot of these restaurants, I'm also worried about health in general. I wanna make sure I'm not bringing in anything that could potentially get me ill. And then another point on that is I'm really saving up and excited to get back out there. And as soon as things open up, would love to be able to sit in some restaurants and enjoy some of my favorites in those environments. I don't know if it'll be immediately when things open up, but once I feel safe and things have opened up, I'm excited to get back out there and enjoy my favorite foods in person. Kind of a side note, but I've also been missing Torchies and Whataburger, some delicious Texas food right now as well. I, of course, love all the food out here, but there's some food that I enjoy back in Texas in addition. Now there's the question of sleep. Dave, how have you been sleeping? I know a lot of people have been struggling with sleep during this time, and I would not say that I'm sleeping as smoothly as I did prior to this whole situation. So a couple things you can do and a couple things I'm trying to do is cut out those screens before bed, try to make sure that you're going to sleep and waking up at the same time, wash your sheets and make sure you keep your place clean and other activities to just keep your overall bedtime hygiene safe. I wouldn't watch TV in bed or at least I try not to, but you can do whatever works for you. In terms of communicating with friends and family, I'm trying to communicate with friends and family as possible. I'm texting or calling different friends and family and saying, hey, seeing how everyone's doing, but it can be tricky. Again, with my schedule, trying to balance work and content creation in addition to everyone else's schedule. I think I'm not the only one right now trying to balance everything going on. It's, it's kind of weird in a way, right, where there's so much going on and yet we're not able to do so much that we were able to do before. So maybe you're not able to go to work, but at the same time you're still trying to manage so much at home or maybe teach your kids or maybe you're trying to get work done from home and you have even more work that way. 
So another fun thing to do that I've been working on is ordering new foods to try and make and cook. So you may have seen I recently did a cooking protein packed muffins. Made some Kodiak cake muffins there. Thought they were pretty good. If you hadn't had a chance to check out that video, let me know what you think if you watch it. I enjoy trying new things. I figure this is a good way to do something kind of active and physical without looking at screens too much because I do look at the screen all week while I'm working and I'm spending extra time working and I'm making videos and editing those videos. It's pretty much all screen time. So I'm looking for other activities to kind of go in addition. And another activity that I've been enjoying alongside that cooking and baking and trying to come up with new stuff to create physically in addition to content wise is board games. I can enjoy some board games, maybe play some games with Mike while I'm in this time while I'm not able to get out a lot and go out to, for example, for the parks, but looking for something to do that's not so screen focused. So I just wanted to give you a quick update into some quarantine facts about me, some healthy facts and how I'm doing and holding up during this time. Just give you an idea of what's going through my mind, what my day to day looks like. And I know I've covered some day to day in the past, but wanted you to give you a breakdown of some of these very particular items, let you know what is going on with me. What did you think of this video? Do you like to hear what's going on with me? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I've got a couple of other ideas that I'm working on, but we'll see how things evolve over the course of this event. I have been thinking about potentially slowing down the schedule a little bit. We'll see if that ends up coming through. Just test it out and see what happens, but no guarantees either way on that one. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell to stay informed of future adventures. And thank you again for being a part of the fun with me as always. Until next time, play on. On a very positive note, in terms of communicating with friends and family, I'm trying to communicate with friends and family as, as possible.